Hey guys, week number three of being away from the shop and doing my upgrades in a hotel room. Uh, this will be the last week of this, uh, as far as I know. Things can always change, but anyway. Um, this week, I was kind of messing around with the Wraith a little bit and noticed that my steering felt uh, sloppy again. Felt like I was getting some play in it. Uh, I thought I narrowed it down to this wheel, and when I got there, took the wheel off, taking a look around, was wondering if I had a bearing go out, and it turns out that it's just the uh, the knuckle, the arm on the knuckle here. Uh, the screws on that have come loose, tightened it back up. Turns out they've they've stripped out pretty well. How, so I could just switch over to some machine screws, possibly put a little bit of CA glue on them uh, to hold them in there, and they would hold up just fine for a while until who knows what, what finally took them out. Since we uh, are here to upgrade anyway, I've got knuckles and things like that with me, so I figured now is as good a time as any to upgrade the knuckles. I'm gonna be using uh, the Vanquish Wraith specific knuckles. So the, uh, the Wraith comes with knuckles that are repurposed from the XR10, and that's why, of course, those arms on the back of the Wraith knuckles are there, even though they're unused. So the Wraith specific versions from Vanquish, if you haven't seen them before, which I know most of you have, they're a very popular knuckle, uh, they get rid of that extra set of arms on the back and uh, allow you to use a little bit more simple knuckle. And these do raise the steering arm up, gets it a little bit out of the rocks compared to the stock knuckles there. And other than that, aluminum construction, bearing sizes are the same and everything like that. So we are going to get those, get these installed on here. I am not replacing the C-hubs yet at this time, so I will be reusing the, uh, or I guess you can reuse the hardware that comes with these knuckles. I will likely switch over to some machine screws that I've got with me just to, uh, they give you a little better bite in the plastic. So I'll switch over to those for now and uh, then when I switch out the C-hubs down the road whenever, I can just uh, throw those on there. If you do need any of the uh, machine screws, you can check out my website, harleydesigns.com, and you can grab one of our uh, HD hardware sets. So, a little plug for myself there. Anyway, I'm going to get into uh, tearing this truck down and getting these replaced. Alright guys, new knuckles are put in place here. Uh, pretty simple install. Remove the old ones, throw the new ones on. All you got to do is swap the bearings for the most part. Uh, if you, it is your first time installing a set of knuckles on a Wraith, one tip I can give you is to take the bearing from the inside and put it on the axle shaft first and then push that whole axle shaft into the knuckle. That will help you get it aligned better. Uh, the, the bearing sits in there at 8 degrees away from perpendicular to the back side of that face and it can make it a little bit more tricky to getting everything aligned when you install. So anyway, uh, you can see the approximate, uh, the tops there are about equal, so you can see the, the uh, clearance gain there, it's probably about a quarter of an inch. So that'll, that'll translate into a little bit, pro little bit better approach angle here uh, in front of the diff. Uh, that's going to be it for the performance mods, however I've got some new parts from Clay at Carter Fab that I'm going to throw on this build for a, a cosmetic upgrade. My package came in from Clay at Carter Fab. He sent me his ultimate inner fender wells in the front, some rear fender wells, in addition to a rear tray. This covers up that uh, just the back here where the battery and everything used to be. He also sent me a package of his new lock nuts. These things are uh, they're not a lock, they're not a nylock. lock. They're a, a different type of lock nut, and I really I don't know the proper name for them just yet. But they don't come loose with vibration or anything like that, like a normal wheel nut will, and they. Uh, they're also they don't deteriorate like a lock nut does after you take them on and off and on and off when they then they start they stop holding quite as well so anyway i'm gonna get all these things on and we'll uh, see what the visual difference looks like once i'm done all right guys all the panels are on everything had a nice fit and finish went together really easy rear fender wells rear tray and the new front inner fender wells so uh, nice finished look. You won't see through it as much when you get those low camera angles. Also installed those new lock nuts of his, and hopefully those are something that I don't have to worry about anymore. You know how those the stock lock nut nylock of any sort can can back its way off over time. So we'll uh, we'll see how those go. They do require a washer first and then the lock nut. So that sometimes that's a pain, but not that big of a deal. Uh, if you guys do want to get these panels for yourself. 
carterfabandmachine.com. Uh, Clay was great to work with. Got this stuff out to me in a hurry, so we appreciate it, Clay. Anyway, did a walk around before I installed these panels, and then I'm going to do one after so that you guys can get a nice, clear before and after picture of what the visual difference of these things is. Also, these panels are not going to my budget because they're purely cosmetic, so that was just a personal choice of mine to throw on the truck. It doesn't have anything to do with upgrading the performance of it. So, just, uh, just so you guys know when you watch the budget scroll at the end. So, that's it for this week. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next week for week 11.